Bum, bum, dum, bum, dum, bing, bum, bing, bum, ding, bing, bum, ding, bing, ding. Okay, that's the lick. Ah, be, be. Ah, be, be. Bang, bang. Ah! He said, we're going to record this. There was something wonderful about being on the dance floor and everybody's doing pee pee. Ah, pee pee. You groove with it, man. You went from side to side. <laughs> So it's kind of like a funky wahila, and I was fascinated by that. I said, whoa, yeah. The boogaloo encompassed a sense of invention from the inside out rather than the outside in. It's not a question of yo estoy aquí bien, ahí bendito. No, 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 no. I walk these streets, I own this motherfucker. This is mine. The younger generation adapted it as their own music. They wasn't gonna go backwards. They liked what they were hearing in the streets, and the boogaloo was there. The music was loud, but just like rock, it's about saying kind of like, F you, man. So I went up to the piano, and I took the knife, and I stuck it into the piano. Boom. And I said, you know what? I'm the leader of this band. And that's how we did things back then, you know? <laughs> We took control. We took matters into our own hands, and the music was part of that. Boogaloo hit so hard that the status quo was terrified of it. The powers that be basically conspired to squash that movement. The purists took over, and they brought back the typical Latin sound, and they kept it that way. They died a horrible death. <laughs> good music will always be good music. It will stand the test of time. You have to give it its blessing. It raised the bar for what was going to be Latin music. Latin Boogaloo, a rhythmic mix born in Spanish Harlem, and now this music is making a comeback big time. They feel it in London. They feel it in Australia. They feel it in Japan. Once you start feeling those poly rhythms, you start bugging out like, yow. At this point in my life, I don't think Boogaloo will ever die. Here.